continuing Taiwan special two here, uh, second day of the week, because the first Taiwan special, the first segment there was um, aimed and intended to be a type of update for for what's happening with the change.org petition, Delio. Um, Ko Wenzhe, something else happening in Taiwan, I said I'd mentioned earlier on, on the podcast Weekland Monday. Ko Wenzhe is the mayor of Taipei. He's kind of a, um, of a renegade. I made a video on YouTube talking about him and how awesome and cool he is. He's the guy that insisted we get paper straws uh, because there's straws everywhere in Taiwan and, and garbage is cluttery and annoying and you have to take it out of your little tiny small house every day. And we don't like so many straws. It's annoying. So by making sure that straws be paper, they could be burned or recycled or something, not plastic, which makes so much trash. It's really cut down on a lot of stuff and people's lives are better just because you don't have to deal with this stuff. There's nothing greeny about it. it it's just, it, it's about not wanting to deal with so much clutter. It, it, it's, 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 really, for Coenza, it wasn't just about loving the earth and let's pray to the trees, our mother. It, it doesn't have to be that. For me, it ain't going to be that. But goodness, cut down on the clutter. You, you know, you don't have to be a tree worshiper in order to not like garbage cluttering up your house. So let's let's find ways to cut down on it. My goodness. Um, I, I, well, I think Limbaugh is getting to the point where he's going to say something along those lines. There's nothing wrong with reducing clutter, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, well, it's again, like I talked about uh, yesterday, it's a generational difference. Okay. Coenza, <sighs> pardon my yawn. Coenza is the mayor of Taipei, and he's a renegade. Uh, the, the, the Bon Jovi came in for a concert. The weather service in Taiwan said there was going to be a typhoon, so he canceled the concert. It didn't even rain. And then he said the next day, why are we paying the weather service when they're that wrong about typhoons? Oh, the establishment was mad. Um... See, in America, if there was a snowstorm, the conference would have gone on anyway. They just would have advised people to be careful. So, Coenza, he should have kept the conference going. He should just sort of said, um, you know, be careful about the typhoon. And then the police should have just shut down the streets at the last minute immediately, uh, not cancel the whole concert. Again, you know, that was an issue about, you know, the wrong people making the decision. You know, the, the decision to go to the concert should have been the individuals traveling there. But when you come from that Confucian culture, you know... Uh, they, they, you know, you're stupid and you need to have someone else do the thinking for you because you're an idiot. You know, that's the, the implication. That's why I can never marry a Taiwanese because I, I just, I'm not stupid. And the Taiwanese girls don't deeply, deeply know that they, they help, 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 thinking that, that, that men need that. And, and just, it's a cultural difference. It's a, it's a culture, wonderful Taiwanese, but I just couldn't get married to one, but I love living with them. But Ko Wenza is his renegade mayor and, and he called him out on it. And he's asked other other crazy questions. Uh, the T Taipei Stadium is this big sports arena in Taipei, Taipei Stadium. And it was being built wrong. If it was going to be finished, the building would have caved in on itself. He stopped the construction because it was being built wrong. And then people got mad that it was being built again. But what they didn't know is that the construction problems were fixed. They started doing it the right way and they resumed building it because it was being built correctly. So there was misinformation about that, maybe disinformation, which is malicious. So, uh, like people trying to, to spread lies on purpose. So anyhow, Coenza has been a big time renegade. He's recently spoke at the Heritage Foundation. We're talking a few months ago, maybe six or so. I did a video on YouTube about it. Here's the problem. All of a sudden, Coenza is making talks about starting a new political party. The possibility, very, very remote possibility of running for president. Uh, probably not going to happen, but he's talking, making noises about it. And uh, this is an election year. Uh, if 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 the wrong guys win, then Taiwan signs itself over to China, and Taiwan becomes the next Hong Kong. And if the right guys win, China invades, and we got to have people that are going to stand for the military. This is a serious election year, and Ko Wenza wants to run for president. He wants to upset the balance. And he keeps talking about how wonderful China is. Now, all right, okay. He's losing supporters. 
that people are running away from him like the plague. Now, this is the interesting thing about all this with Kowunza. He's been getting friendly with Terry Go. They'll say Guo, but he, it's, he misspells it Go, so that's how I'm going to pronounce it. Terry Go is the is the the chairman, basically the owner of Foxconn. You know the company that makes Apple stuff. It's got like 800 million factories, two thirds of them about in China or so, like a lot. Uh, some, some, check the numbers. It could be half. It could be one third, but it's like, it's scary. And he wanted to run for Taiwan's president. This is the guy after Steve Jobs died. He said, he brought, spoke to a local national university, like, like a state university in America. He said, don't listen to Steve Jobs. He said, follow your dreams. I say, follow what you hate. Do what you don't want to do. I wanted to be a writer. My dad said, no, I became a businessman. Look at me. I'm in charge of Foxconn. Don't listen to Steve Jobs. He said that just after Steve Jobs died. Nice guy, huh? Disowning Steve Jobs, the man who made his company rich. <laughs> this is an idiot. Real, real idiot. Now, recently, he's been trying to build another factory where? In Wisconsin. Now, Wisconsin, Foxconn, you better believe that Terry Go has been talking to the mayor of Wisconsin. Do you know who the mayor of Wisconsin was? That's right, Scott Walker. Scott Walker was the guy that clamped down on union abuse stuff, like unions were too powerful. People stormed the state capitol. The police kicked them out. Legislature went in and passed the law anyway. The people did a recall vote of Scott Walker and he won the recall election. Yeah. And then Scott Walker tried to run for president after Foxconn had been doing its dealio. Foxconn comes in. We want to build here. D Terry goes in there talking to Scott Walker a whole bunch. All of a sudden, Scott Walker decides to run for president. And that's when Scott Walker self-destructed, fell apart, lost his campaign, and then lost the, 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 the last re-election or the third re-election uh, for, for uh, governor. I, I think two years in recall, then four years, six years, he gets another election, something like that. Uh, or maybe they don't have term limits in Wisconsin. I don't know. That's right. Terry Go, the Foxconn dweeb who, who, who disrespects Steve Jobs, starts doing stuff with Scott Walker, and Scott Walker tries to run for president self-destruct. Then Terry Go starts talking to Kowunza, the Taipei mayor. Mayor's like a governor. Similar almost in population in many cases. And uh, in, in Taiwan, it's mistranslated. He starts talking to Kowunza, and he starts making noises about running for president, and he self-destructs and starts losing his popularity. Hmm. Are you seeing a pattern with Terry Goh's friends? Uh, you know, that's just a thought. Very, very interesting thought. Um, I, I just, I would be curious to know. Scott Walker, if you're out there and Terry Goh gave you encouragement running for president, tell the world, please, warn people about this idiot. My goodness. Why do we do stuff with Fox, Scott, anyway? I, I'm, I'll see you tomorrow.